Climate change in South Asia is fast becoming the region's defining development challenge. According to a New World Bank report, by 2030, nearly 90% of South Asians could face dangerous heat and one in five could experience severe flooding. The stakes could not be higher. South Asia's climate is shaped by powerful natural systems. Monsoon rains, Himalayan glaciers, and vast rivers. But rising greenhouse gases are disrupting these cycles. Rapid urbanization, high population density, and widespread poverty magnify the risks. Sea level rise threatens low-lying zones like Bangladesh's delta, while glacier melt raises long-term concerns over water security. Together, these forces put South Asia on the front line of global climate impacts. The human costs are already mounting. Extreme heat is reducing crop yields and making outdoor work dangerous. Severe floods destroy homes and small businesses in a single season. Natural disasters already displace more people in Asia than anywhere else in the world, and South Asia bears the brunt. For rural farmers and urban informal workers alike, climate shocks threaten income, food security, and long-term well-being. The poorest are hit hardest, and recovery can take years. Extreme weather is intensifying. Cyclones in the Bay of Bengal, droughts in Pakistan, and record-breaking heat waves in India and Pakistan are all made far more likely by human-driven warming. Rainfall is becoming unpredictable, disrupting planting cycles, while stronger storms push coastal communities deeper into poverty. Yet, amid these challenges, there is hope. South Asia can embrace climate smart growth. This means investing in resilient infrastructure, renewable energy, flood and water management, and climate smart agriculture. One inspiring example is Ahmedabad's heat action plan in India. With cool roofs, early warning systems, and public awareness campaigns, the city has shown how adaptation can save lives. Scaling such programs across the region could protect millions, but building resilience comes at a cost over 2% of regional GDP annually. Public budgets alone cannot meet this challenge. That's why private sector innovation is essential. Tools like catastrophe bonds, parametric insurance, and blended finance can safeguard vulnerable households. India's crop insurance scheme is already stabilizing farmer incomes. Microinsurance and digital tools can extend protection to millions more. Investing in renewable energy and resilient infrastructure doesn't just reduce risks. It also creates jobs and strengthens economies for the long term. Policymakers must act decisively. Adaptation must stand alongside mitigation as a top priority. Early warning systems, shock responsive safety nets, and urban planning can reduce risks while supporting development. South Asia stands at a crossroads. Nearly 2 billion people are on the front lines of climate change. The question is, will the region act fast enough to shift from risk to resilience? For more stories, insights, and updates on climate change in Asia, don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Together, we can build a safer, more resilient future.